Running on tonight, continuing coverage about Liberty Utilities and its rate increase, the proposed rate increase. The Arizona-based company announced they will be suspending the pending rate until further notice. Yeah, this after hundreds of customers in and around Tyler protested that hike. KETK's Kara Pritchard was at the town hall meeting this afternoon. She joins us live with more. So, Kara, how are people reacting to this news? Well, the customers I spoke to seem to be relieved. However, some are still skeptical. They think this issue will present itself again in the next few months. After hundreds of protesters and several local and state representatives stepped up to question a rate increase, Liberty Utilities seems to be backing down for right now. There's a big difference between having a reasonable price increase to pay for that good service and taking advantage of people. Craft is one of more than 3,000 Smith County customers. The proposed rate was going to double, if not triple, some customers' bills. In 2012, we were paying about $40 a month, and then that went up to 67, and now they're wanting to push it up to near 100. He says he's not surprised by their suspension and is leery of the future. But I have a feeling over the next three to six months, they're going to come back to the table, and we're going to be back in this room again. Liberty Utilities President Matthew Garlick says the increases are necessary to cover costs, including requirements by the TCEQ. For um, the things that we had to put in the ground, plan upgrades, uh, force main removal and relocation due to TxDOT right away, uh, to FM 2493 expansion. He says their next steps are to hold several more town hall meetings. We'll listen to their concerns. We'll educate people and talk a little bit about why these things were necessary and what, what brought those on. And then hopefully we'll get some better understanding of that and, and some understanding of how those rates or some rates will go into effect at some time in the future. And when that time comes, the city of Tyler says they're ready. Representative Matt Schaefer released a frequently asked questions regarding the rate increase. I'll have that information on our website, EastTexasMatters.com. And the town hall meeting scheduled for October 4th for out of city residents has been canceled until further notice. Reporting live, Kara Pritchard, KETK News. Kara, thank you. Well, a gorgeous